Hi, it's me, Editing Sky here. You're gonna see quite a bit of me in this video. I do apologize. But I wanted to just come on here in the intro and just say that I forgot to mention that all of the products I'm talking about are cruelty free. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. I only feature and talk about cruelty free brands on this channel because animal welfare and animal cruelty, like that's a big thing that I am passionate about. Not animal cruelty, no. We don't support, we don't support. But everything I talk about on my channel is cruelty free and obviously this entire favourites video is full of cruelty free products and brands that you should check out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my current holy grail favourite products. Like these are things that I really don't think I can ever replace with anything else. Like these are literally top shelf. Top shelf products. I know Julia Mazzucato just uploaded a video like this and I've been planning to film mine for a little while so um good coincidence hopefully you guys like watching these favorite videos. I'm gonna try and not make this video too 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 long like I normally do. Bitch! The total amount of footage that I have to edit is 50 minutes. What do you mean that this is gonna be a shorter video? I'm not gonna sleep tonight. But these are all products that are literally like top shelf. I love these. These cannot be replaced. I swear by these products. I am wearing a few on my face today. Only a few though, not too many. So let's jump into it. There are a few categories, however, that I don't have a holy grail product for. For example, uh, face primer, liquid liner, and powder. I think those are the only products that I don't have a holy grail for. It's And also brows kind of brows. I don't really have any holy grail products in those categories because, I don't know, I like trying out different types of those products and I kind of, I haven't found the one yet. I haven't found the one. But let's start off with foundation. You guys know if you watch my channel, you know that this is my, the perfect foundation like made for me. It's like when Rihanna was in, like creating this foundation, she had me in mind basically. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 140. I always have to check my shade. For some reason I keep forgetting it. This is actually my second bottle of this and I'm nearly finished actually. I'm going to buy another one when this runs out. If you have oily skin like I do, this is amazing. It's a medium to full coverage and it's very matte but it's not like it's not like a super drying matte. It's like a soft matte finish and when my oils do eventually come through with this it just makes the foundation look dewy and the foundation doesn't break apart. It just looks natural when my oils come through. It's stunning. It's very long wearing. This is a perfect shade match for me and it just looks, it makes my skin look flawless. It doesn't emphasize any like lines in my face. I will say that this does settle into my fine lines right here. You can't see them on camera, but I do have not super deep set smile lines, but they are there and foundation, no matter what foundation it, it is, it, they, it will settle there. But this one doesn't really settle there too much, which I really do love. Fenty can literally like, she can have one of my kidneys for this. She can have one of my kidneys. I'll give a kidney for this. Next is concealer and I didn't expect to love this as much as I do and I've actually finished this. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Concealer. I'm in the shade Creme Cafe. This is slightly too dark for me so I will go a shade lighter when I do repurchase this but this is completely gone. Completely like I took the stopper out. It's, it's empty. It's empty. <laughs> Think of this as shape tapes even better older sister. Think of it like that because this is very full coverage but it's not drying. I know some people think Tarte Shape Tape is drying. For me it's not drying because I have oily skin um, but this is so beautiful. It is, it's not too hydrating but it leaves your under eyes looking really nice, like really smooth and beautiful. Um, it does cover my dark circles. It just looks nice and it's long wearing and it blends into the skin beautifully. You can wear this without foundation as well and it just blends so nicely into the skin. There's no harsh line of concealer. I honestly recommend every single skin type to try out this concealer because I know people with dry skin love this and I have oily skin and I love this. It's seriously such an amazing concealer. I mean it's clearly amazing because I've completely run out of this and I want to repurchase it and I'm not normally like that with concealer. Normally with concealer, it's the type of product that I like to try out a bunch of different things. 
but this one I literally I have to repurchase it. Since I don't have a holy grail powder we're going to talk about the rest of the face products and for bronzer again if you know me you know that this is something that I I can't see myself ever trying other bronzers. This is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Barley Sands. I've actually hit pan on this, as you can see. This bronzer is so natural. It's slightly glowy, but not like pow. You know what I mean? It's not like a highlighter on your cheeks. This is seriously the most natural, most natural bronzer I've ever tried. It's because it has that slight shiver to it. It just looks like skin on your skin and it just it blends beautifully and it looks like a natural bronze as you can see texture is so like fine it's so finely milled it's a really expensive bronzer I will admit but I will definitely repurchase this this is the perfect shade for me there are a bunch of different shades of this actually and the shade range is really good so I think any um, skin tone can use this bronzer in my personal opinion of course I don't have a deep skin tone I can't attest to that I've never been so blown away by bronzer before I've been recording for 10 minutes and I've spoken about three products shit for blush again this is a product I didn't think that I would really like Jouer has really been blowing me out of the water like with their products that I've tried but this is the Jouer rose gold blush bouquet these blushes are pigmented but not too pigmented so you can build them up and sheer them out very easily and because of their color variants again this would be good for any different skin tone I love the color tone of this rose gold blush duo I know they have a mini version of this now so if you want to try this out you can buy a mini I do recommend this blush formula. It's so, so, so beautiful and so smooth on the skin. It blends beautifully. It lasts a long time. All of the products I am mentioning right here, all of them are really long lasting from, in my personal experience, which I like. I don't like makeup that will fade really quickly, but these, you can see them at the end of the night. These are stunning. I like this shade for more cooler toned looks and I like this shade for more warmer toned looks. So literally, this is the perfect blush duo for me. My favorite highlighter is the Juvia's Place a Tribe Highlighter in the shade Volume 3. They do have three shades of this. This is the lightest shade. And this, you can even see on camera, like at that reflection. This is the most wet looking highlighter. If you don't like intense highlighters, you're literally gonna hate this. This is so reflective and stunning. If I could get rid of all of them, I'd keep this one 100%. Moving on to eye products. My favorite eye primer is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is my second tube of this. It is clear, which, you know, some people like, some people don't. I don't mind a clear eyeshadow primer. I think I prefer it if it was tinted, but this makes my eyeshadow last all day, no creasing very long wearing. That's all I really want in an eyeshadow primer and it is slightly tacky, slightly tacky, which I do like. It does help my eyeshadow stick to it. Okay, editing Sky is back and I can't believe that I forgot to mention this product. This is the um, NYX glitter primer, but if you want a amazing glitter primer, this one. This one is just perfect. I don't know why I forgot it. It's literally something I use every single time I use shimmer eyeshadows and every single time I use glitters. So that's something I recommend. Back to the video. Favorite eyeshadow palette. Now, I don't have just one. <laughs> you guys, if you guys know me, you know that I can't pick one eyeshadow palette. I have so many that I love and adore. The first eyeshadow formula I'm going to recommend is ColourPop. You saw this coming. The first one being the Dream Street palette, the collab with Kathleen Lights. It looks like this. I have hit pan on two shades. This was the palette that started my love for ColourPop eyeshadows to begin with. I adore their matte formula. It's really easy to blend and nicely pigmented. And this is a beautiful neutral palette with a pop of blue and a pop of orange as well. This bright orange called Spark. Is it called Spark? Yeah, called Spark. It's stunning. I love it. You guys know if you've watched my channel for about a year, I do really like this palette. And even though I don't reach for neutrals that often, if I do want to reach for brown warm neutrals, I reach for this palette. And the teals in here are really nice too. Now, if you watch my palette ranking video, you would know that this is my number one, the Blue Moon palette. When this launched, I knew I had to have it because uh, one, see that? It's a fucking moon. I literally do that every single time I talk about this palette, genuinely. Look at any of my videos where I talk about this palette. I do that joke all the time. It's overplayed. I need to shut up. And blue eyeshadow is my favorite to wear. <laughs> I just love it. I feel so confident and so myself when I wear blue eyeshadow. And this is the perfect 
monochromatic blue palette if you want to get started into blues because it has pretty much all the blue basic blues that you need. It's got this beautiful duochrome right here called Lumi. It's like a white blue shift. The shade Billie Jean is a beautiful denim color. It's so stunning and really unique. I haven't seen a denim shade before. These matte blues blend beautifully. I have a three looks one palette with this. I love this palette so 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 much. It's the Colourpop formula that I know and love. The mattes are soft but not too powdery. I just think if you're a blue lover or if you want to get started into blues, you're gonna love you're gonna love this palette. It's just such a perfect blue palette in my personal opinion. Now this next palette again is one of my top favorites if you watched my palette ranking video and it's the Nabla Soul Blooming palette. I didn't expect to love this as much as I did. Out of all of my neutral palettes, this is my favorite neutral palette. And you may be thinking, but Sky has got like, it's got pretty much jeden, dva, tri, četri. It's got or neutrals. Is that really a neutral palette? Well, to me, yes. It's got those beautiful rosy pinky shades that I adore, and it's got some, you know, these beautiful bluey shades up here. The shade Garden Gate is a beautiful duochrome, like, blue-purple shade. If you want to use these shimmers on your lid, you're gonna have to use your finger or a wet brush for it. Their mattes are so soft and beautiful and blendable. I've hit pan on the shade Philosophy right here, which is a beautiful pink-green duochrome. I've taken this traveling with me constantly. Like, this palette is always with me. Continuing on with the theme of Nabla, I have some Nabla single shadows I want to talk about. Now, the Nabla singles that I have are these six right here, these bigger pans. These smaller shades right here are Colourpop, but I thought they would go well with this colour scheme. Also, I will say I do recommend the Colourpop single shadows and their palettes, as well as the Nabla palettes and their singles. But in my personal opinion, I think that the Nabla singles are slightly better than the Nabla palettes. Not saying that the palettes are bad, because you know I love the Soul Blooming, but I'm just saying that their singles are where it's at. Like, if you don't want to invest in a palette from Nabla, I highly recommend getting one of their singles, specifically the shade New Heaven, which is the most pigmented... Pichka, I just dropped it. The most pigmented aqua shade I have ever seen. This is incredible. It blends beautifully. I adore this. Their shimmers are also really good. I have the shade Virgin Island right here. I will name all of the Nabla singles. I do have a post on my beauty Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky, Beauty with Two Ys. This next brand creates single shadows, but they do have a palette that I do have my eye on if you watch the makeup I want, but I'm not going to buy. And it's Sugar Pill. Now, these are all single shadows. I just have the big 12 pan palette. As you can see, this palette is well loved. These were my first primary colors, like in terms of rainbow eyeshadows, and I still stand by them. I still need to fill up this palette and I will, I will fill it up at some point, I swear. These eyeshadows don't swatch very well, I will admit. However, on the eyes, they're very pigmented, but also very easy to build up. So you can't really go overboard with these. You can't like, accidentally over apply. It doesn't mean that they're sheer at all. Like you can definitely build them up. I'm actually wearing the shades Butter Cupcake, Flame Point, Acid Berry, and Mochi on my eyes today. I absolutely adore Sugar Pill's formula, especially the shade Butter Cupcake. Also, Taco is the best white shade I have ever tried. And the final eyeshadow palette I want to talk about, this one is limited edition, but you can still buy it. I have just fallen in love with the Kaleidos Makeup formula. This is the Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette. I have been using this non-stop, even though I haven't been filming a bunch of videos like back to back. I have been wearing this almost every single day. Every single time I want to wear makeup, I go for this. These shimmer shades right here, these two, are the most unique shimmers in my collection. Like they are ridiculously glittery and reflective. Like it, they're kind of like mirrors almost. The mattes are quite powdery, but I like powdery eyeshadows. They're quite powdery and very, very pigmented. They're quite easy to blend as well. I will say that the brown shade and this dark teal shade do require a bit more work, but these types of colors do normally require more work, so I'm not too surprised by that. But I love the color scheme. The formula is so good, and I really want to buy more from Kaleidos Makeup in the future because this formula is ridiculous. It's so good and I love the colour scheme. I love the palette packaging. Like, this is beautiful packaging. I really do wish they would make these permanent because these deserve to be permanent. Okay, I've been filming for half an hour. Now, I don't have a favourite liquid liner. However, for pencil eyeliner, you would know that my absolute all-time favourite, I will literally... I don't even want to try any other ones 
are ColourPop cream gel liners. I have a bunch of them. So, 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 so many. Honestly, you will not regret trying these cream gel liners. They have some neutral colors. They have some metallic ones. They have the colorful ones. I don't even have all of them. And I am planning on buying all of them because I use these every single day. I'm wearing Electric Daisy in my waterline today. These are incredibly creamy. They're so easy to glide on the waterline. They will last pretty much all day. Towards the end of the day, they will have faded a little bit, but on me, they last for a really long amount of time. They're really good to smudge out on your upper or lower lash line if you like the, smudge, the smudged out type of look. They don't set too quickly, but once these set, they are not moving. If I had to recommend one shade, it would be the shade Prance, which is a periwinkle blue shade. I love, I pretty much wear this eyeliner with every single look. I'm not even lying, I will wear this with pretty much all of my looks. I will put a picture right here of all of these shades swatched with the name next to them because I'm not going to be able to do it like in a video of me so showing the swatches. So here are all of the eyeliners that I own from Colourpop. So you can take a screenshot of this if you want to use it as reference when buying from the Colourpop website. I just want to add that as much as I love these eyeliners, the only flaw I will say is that if you want to get the neon shades, these three are the neons, as well as a neon pink, they are slightly drier than the regular cream gel liners. Because these have a like a lot of white base to them, they are going to be not as creamy. Although I will say the actual, the white one is very, very creamy. So I don't know why the neons are a bit drier. Neon eyeliners tend to be a bit more dry. But yeah, these three are the neons. Electric Daisy, um crossed and ints. You still will probably like them, but just keep that in mind that if you only want the neon ones, they're not as creamy as the regular cream gel liners. For mascara, my favourite mascara is the Colourpop BFF mascara in the shade Black on Black and also the shade Blue Your Mind. This is a really nice blue mascara actually, and I've been wearing, a, wearing it a lot more than I thought I would. It's a very beautiful cobalt blue shade. Because I have darker eyelashes, you can only see it in close-up photos, but I still love this blue mascara and also the black one. This is my last backup of it. I bought so many backups. If you watched my uh, first haul of the year, I'll link it down below. I bought so many backups and now I'm on my last one. <laughs> this is another thing that I always stock up on anytime I purchase from Colourpop. This is so good. It's very volumizing and it does separate my lashes really nicely. It doesn't lengthen that much, which I wish it did lengthen, but I love this mascara. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. It doesn't flake on me. It doesn't smudge. None of that. It just gives beautiful volume and separated lashes. Next time I make a Colourpop purchase, it's going to be over for you guys. Genuinely. I'm going to make the biggest Colourpop purchase next time I buy from them because there's so many things that they've released that I really want. I almost forgot brows, but for brow pencils, my favourite brow pencil is the Enabla Brow Divine and I'm in the shade Uranus. Uranus is the perfect shade for my eyebrows. If you have dark eyebrows like I do, Uranus is your perfect shade. They do have a bunch of shades as well. This brow pencil is creamier than the ABH Brow Wiz if you've tried the Brow Wiz or the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I prefer this pencil because it is slightly softer. It's not so soft that you can literally just go oh, fucking shit and then just, you know, have a harsh line. It's soft enough to, you know, fill in your brows. It's very easy to, like, brush out. I don't really know how to review brow pencils because, um... I'm not good at reviewing brows. I mean, I have a lot of brows, so I feel like if you're gonna take brow advice from ever anybody, I would not be the person, but I really do love this brow pencil. Anytime that I want a stronger brow, stronger than my brows normally are, I go for this. I'm wearing it today. Now for brow gel, I don't have a favorite brow gel because um, any tinted brow gel that has good like hold works for me. The final thing that I'm gonna mention for eyes are glitters, and I love glitters. You guys know, I adore glitter. I, if I could wear glitter every day, I would. I would, and I was gonna put glitter on my eye look today, but I thought it would be a bit too much, and that's saying a lot for me. But my favorite glitters of all time are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners. I have the shade Distortion, uh, Midnight Cowboy, Starfire, and Volume. If you don't like working with loose glitter because it gets everywhere, this is the perfect option for you. It's a very fine brush on this, and it's basically a bunch of glitter suspended in a glitter gel of some kind, and it's so easy to apply. You can apply the glitter directly where you want, and it's not gonna have any fallout. They have so many different shades. These are so gorgeous. I'm going to buy all the shades. I'm probably gonna ask for 
a bunch of these for Christmas, honestly, because they are a bit expensive. I will say, I wish that Urban Decay would lower the price of these. I actually bought this shade Distortion, the first shade I got, whilst it was on sale for £6. And um, I personally believe that these should be uh, priced at about £14, because these are 18 I just think if they lowered the price by 4 quid, it, they would sell out even more. Like, these are ridiculously beautiful. Oh boy, we're finally talking about lip products. We're in the final stretch, boys. I only have three lip products to talk about. Let's talk about liquid lipstick first now. My favourite lips liquid lipstick formula is no surprise to anybody. Jeffree Star. So I have the entire Equality bundle, which are all of the rainbow shades you're seeing right here, and I have four full-sized ones. I will show you the full-sized ones. Let me just talk about his formula. His formula, some people say are very drying. For me personally, they dry down completely matte and they will not move. I, they will not move. Unless you're eating oily foods, these will not come off your mouth. These are kiss-proof, these are so these are everything proof basically except for oils because oils do break down any liquid lipstick but these are the most long wearing liquid lipsticks i own they're not drying on me in my personal opinion i don't find these drying so i have the shade weirdo which is the black shade i have the shade unicorn blood and the writing is rubbed off on this completely basically unicorn blood is actually my most used lipstick in my collection not just liquid lipstick my most used lipstick. It's a beautiful deep red and I actually have to scrape the tube to get any product out. I'm gonna have to repurchase this very fucking soon. But I think if you're gonna get one shade from Jeffree Star, Unicorn Blood is the one. It looks good on everybody. I don't care what your skin tone is, it's gonna look good on you. That was a bit aggressive, I'm sorry. I have the shade Scorpio, which is this beautiful purple toned grey. It's such a beautiful, unique shade. I really like uh, Scorpio. I think it's very underrated. And I also have the shade Christmas Cookie, which is a very pink toned nude. But the Jeffree Star formula is incredible. It's so good. If you want a really long lasting liquid lipstick, this is for you. If you don't like a drying liquid lipstick, you're probably not gonna like these. But like I said, on my lips, I don't find them drying, but I know a lot of other people do. Now for lipstick, that's in a stick format. My favourite, again, say it after me, the Linda Helberg Fantastics. I have the shades Pink Opal, Goldstone, and Cultured, and I'm going to be purchasing the shade Famous soon, and probably another shade as well. These are basically a gloss stick. You'll see in the swatches that they are slightly sheer when you swatch them, but you can build them up. They have SPF 15. They are extremely hydrating on the lips. These do wear off because of the formula of them, because they are a gloss stick, essentially, but they, are, they leave your lips feeling and looking very juicy and moisturised. The colour selection is beautiful. Like, I constantly want to wear these. These are the lip products that if you want to feel comfortable, this is, this is what you should wear, basically. They're not too thick. They're not too thin. They have nice lasting power considering the formula. And finally, for lip products, I want to talk about gloss. And again... This is a very obvious one, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. As you can see, uh, the shade Fenty Glow, it's uh, almost empty. I have the shades Fenty Glow and Fussy. I love this gloss formula. It is a slightly thicker gloss, however, it's not so thick that it will leave those weird, like, stringy things in your lips when you talk. It's not like that. They're very plush feeling. I think that's the best way I can describe them. They're very plush. They're, they have a nice thickness to them that they will last a long time. I went swimming in the ocean wearing one of these and it didn't come off. These are very hydrating on the lips as well. They're not one of those thicker glosses that leaves your lips dry. I could get rid of all of my lip glosses and just have these, honestly. I thought I was finished, but then I forgot one crucial product, and I was, and I, then I remembered, how could I forget? How could I forget the one product that I literally have purchased? This is my fourth bottle. This is my fourth bottle. How could I forget to talk about this? And it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is my fourth bottle. I remember when I bought this, I was thinking, okay, Everybody talks about the all-nighter. It can't be that good. It is. I notice a difference when I don't use this. When I don't use this, my makeup does not last as long. And even though the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation, even though this foundation is pretty long-lasting without the setting spray, the setting spray takes it to a whole nother level. This obviously takes down that powdery look if you have used a lot of powders, like myself, because I'm an oily bitch. But this also genuinely does make my makeup last longer. I don't know what's in this that makes my makeup last up to 16 hours, it says. 
yeah, I actually have worn a full face of makeup for 16 hours, and I'm telling you, this makes it look beautiful that entire time. My makeup has not shifted throughout that entire time. Yes, my skin will get a bit oily, and obviously my oils will come through, but my skin just looks good and everything stays together. Since I first purchased this, I have never been without it. And when I don't wear it, I notice a huge difference. But that is it for today's video. I have been talking for so long, my throat hurts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what are your favorite Holy Grail products because I love sharing. I love hearing what other people's Holy Grail products are. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.